proud of the coalition that we've built around our campaign. We probably have one of the broadest coalitions of folks that you've ever seen in the presidential race. Of course, we have the support of Democrats, but also independents and Republicans. In fact, um, seven members of uh, President George W. Bush's cabinet are supporting our ticket. Uh, we have the support of, of Colin Powell, Cindy McCain, John Kasich, um, over 500 uh, generals, retired generals and, and former national security experts and advisors are supporting our campaign. And I believe they are doing that because they know that Joe Biden has a deep, deep-seated commitment to fight for our democracy and to fight for the integrity of our democracy and to bring integrity back to the White House. And so we believe in the American people. We believe in our democracy. And here's what I'd like to say to everybody. Vote. Please vote. Vote early. Come up with a plan to vote. Go to IWillVote.com. You can also go to, to JoeBiden.com. We have it within our power in these next 27 days to make the decision about what will be the course of our country for the next four years. And it is within our power, and if we use our vote, and we use our voice, we will win. And we will not let anyone subvert our democracy with what Donald Trump has been doing, as he did on the debate stage last week, when again in front of 70 million people, he openly attempted to suppress the vote. Joe Biden, on the other hand, on that same debate stage, because clearly Donald Trump doesn't think he can run on a record because it's a failed record, Joe Biden on that stage said, hey, just please vote. So I'll repeat what Joe said, please vote. Thank you, Senator. Vice President Pence, President Trump has several times refused to commit himself to a peaceful transfer of power after the election.